I've always loved the way that this place looks. It's phenomenal. Uh, I can't tell which one of these guys is talking. We've been spotted, so there's no point in hiding anymore. Who are we? We're Team Snagum. Oh, okay, cool. Team Snagum? Can't rightly say I know them. See? He doesn't know either. It's bringing tears to my eyes. Hey, we should go. We should leave this up to Gonza. Be quiet. We finally managed to track down Cypher, haven't we? We're not just leaving now. Hey, you, you big lunk. We have business in that building. Stand aside if you don't want to get hurt. Lonk! You're calling the dashing and terrific Mr. Zuka Lonk? How dare you! Arr, you're not getting away with this! Every time we see Zook, we're gonna get a battle simulation. Byron! <laughs> I, I'm really curious how this plays out because of the fact that it's supposed to normally be a scripted battle, but the Pokemon are obviously randomized. What I've learned from the from doing Relgum Tower in my free time is that they click, I think, like the move slots that they're supposed to, and then, you know, whatever that move got changed to is what it got changed to. <laughs> I love the way that he jumps into the attack. I think Natsu's got this. Oh yeah. Not gonna lie, I'm a little surprised. It did only keep clicking Astonish, though, so... I really want to know what would have happened if their Pokemon worked out in a way that Zook lost the battle. Would the cutscene still play out how it's supposed to? I'm very curious. See, what did I say? If we would have waited for Gonzop, this wouldn't have happened. Walkin must have reached the hideout by now and given that snag machine to Gonzop. Hey, you want more... Hey, you want more of where that came from? We'll pull back and regroup. Let's get back to the hideout. I love that they ignored me. This is a really strange way to build a place, too. Like, the circular-shaped whatever pillars all around. It's, it's, like, what's the pur purpose? <laughs> Poipus. You're that brat who was our Gertie on port! What are you doing here? You're nothing but bad news. Ever since I saw you, I've had nothing but the worst luck. First at Gertie on port, some guy challenged me to a battle out of the blue and promptly stomped me flat. Then Gorigan gave one major dressing down for showing off Shadow Pokemon without permission. Because of that, he made me stand guard here as punishment. There's one thing I can't figure out, though. How'd Gorgon ever find out about me anyway? Ah! Remembering that is getting me riled! This time I'll flatten you! So, how many people know who... Uh, I, I'm forgetting their name. How many people know who the boss is? So, w were those research and development scientists the only people? Apart from the admins themselves? Grievel, there we go. That's it was bothering me for a bit. All right. Anyways, we know it's not to. So, what the fuck is wrong with him? He looks bulimic. He looks anorexic. Even worse, he looks stupid. <laughs> All right, just knock out the Machop, please. I need to get rid of a lot of Pokemon without accidentally killing the Natsu. That's going to be a little tricky and annoying. I really need to use some of my coupons to... Oh my god, I'm sorry. I need to use some of these coupons to get rid of... Um, to get rid of Razor Leaf for Vine Whip. So that I'm not in this situation where I'm forced to damage the Shadow and the partner. Even though sometimes it's been favorable that it's spread damage so it's weaker... Uh, oh, by the way, Grabic evolved, so yeah, that's a thing. Uh, even though it's favorable that it's weaker with the spread damage, like, in a situation like this, it's ass. 
especially when the shadow Pokemon isn't one that's known to be bulky and it's not evolved at all. And okay, cool. It handled that a lot better than I assumed, but still, you know, I'm sure you can see the point. Nice. All right, cool, cool. So Razor Leaf is just fine. I look like I don't know what I'm talking about. Whatever. Oh, right. Damn it. <sighs> I don't know how I forgot about that, bro. Is that, man, 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 man. So this must be to set up, like, in case you've managed to catch everything so far, how the little side quest works. Uh, basically, just like how the spot monitor did before, where you got the little notification, you'll get one saying that Mirror B has appeared somewhere. And that somewhere is always uh, gonna be Pyrite Town, unless I'm mistaken, and he can show up to other tournaments. Hell yeah! I've been waiting for this moment. But yeah, you go fight Mirror B, and he'll have the shadow Pokemon that you failed to capture. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at it. The cheap horns really just, oomph. <laughs> I, I really do love Venusaur though. You're just some kid. How could I, the mighty Zook, get beaten by just some kid? Because you fluked out. You only won because you got lucky. That's gotta be the answer. I won't battle you again. If you win by a fluke again, my reputation will take a beating! I remember being so relieved when he said that, but also, he's the reason why I learned what the word fluke is. So, shout out to, um, however old year old me. Oh, what the fuck? Sekramon BS. Michael, something's come up. Your help is urgently needed. What the hell is going on right now? Well, okay, first of all, I love that building. I've always loved the way that it looks on the outside. It looks like, um, like an, an ancient civilization's depiction of a demon. Damn, okay, so I can't battle you guys or anything like that? That's crazy. Nice. No good. There doesn't appear to be any new information with regards to Team Snagum. It does appear, however, that they aren't involved in any of Cypher's capers. Team Snagum must be operating on its own. So, were they collaborating last time? Wait, who the hell was I supposed to be speaking to? Did I... Hello? Ah, oh, okay, here. Michael, I'm glad you're here. I've been waiting for you. Huh? What happened to your left arm? Weren't you wearing the snag machine on it? I see... It was Team Snagum's doing. It's not surprising that they'd wanted your snag machine. Up to five years ago, Team Snagum was in partnership with Cypher. But when they lost their snag machine, Cypher gave them up as a lost cause. I thought Team Snagum just folded after that. They must have spotted your snag machine somewhere. Oh my. I'll start investigating Team Snagum right away. I'll let you know as soon as we discover anything. Oh, right. I'd forgotten completely about this email message I received. You see, ONBS got contacted by someone who claimed to have fled from Cypher's base. We debated sending out a news team immediately, but there's no guarantee that it won't be a trap or another risky situation. I hate to impose, but could you go? Thank you. We know that you can be entrusted with this, Michael. The man who contacted us is named Hordell. He said he'll be at the outskirts stand. I was wondering when we were going to get here. I thought that this was much earlier in the game than it actually turned out to be. I really like it though. Let's check it out. Oh shit. I was just gonna say, he doesn't seem to appear when you don't have the snag machine, but never mind. Oh, it's these fucking goons. Unless that's the reason why he went off. Woo! Did I ever pig out? That was the first decent food I've had in a long, I tell you. Yeah, that's great and all, truthfully, but. Are we really doing the right thing living this way? I worry about my future, you know. Maybe I really need to consider changing my lifestyle. <laughs> I'm figuring out the voices, I'm sorry. Now what are you going on about, Folly? You're not your usual self. 
Don't tell me you forgot in the boss's dream. We're going to own all Pokemon in the whole wide world. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Achoo! Oh, boss. <laughs> oh, did I overhear you talking about me? Oh, well, Lydiv isn't that super aggravating little boy who served me up a bitter memory at the Poke Spot. <laughs> oh, what perfect timing! For a little exercise after my meal, I'll wipe you out with my elegant steps. Let the music start! I wonder how tall he's supposed to be. I never realized that was a sorry ass uh, mid air split. Which I know, I know. As someone who A can't do a split, B can't jump, and C can't do both, right? And, and it's a hard technique. I know I'm criticizing unnecessarily, but that shit was fucking weak. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm pretty sure Vileplume's gonna live, even though it is just an Ember. Um, I mean, even though it is coming from an Arcanine. Low base power. Hopefully, Quilava gets knocked out though. It's evolved, so I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's alright. How much damage does this do, though? Alright. Alright, I'll take it. And I didn't get statused, so... Beautiful. Plus, it moves last in this turn. One potato? That was the slowest quick attack I've ever fucking seen. They didn't even try to make it look fast. They just added a bunch of blur and called it a day. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo! Yo! It's in the game! It's in my randomizer! Hello! I didn't expect this shit! What is going on? I can't even attempt to catch it! What happens if I knock out Mirror B Shadow Pokemon? Does he keep them? Or do they still run away and then they... Oh! Oh, I need to find this again before the game's over. Yo! Okay. I hope it doesn't fucking obliterate me. I saw Lugia and I was like, oh, whoa, a legendary. Okay. And then I saw the purple icon. <laughs> Where the fuck did he find this? It devoured that, even with the level difference. Less than 50% is crazy. Man, even that's impressive. How much damage does this do? There's no way it does a lot, right? Especially with the spread damage? Yeah, okay. That's pathetic work. Whoa, okay. Gorgeous crit. I don't know if I've ever seen its death animation. That's nuts. That's... wow. I'm still absolutely shook. Oh, how dare you! I say, how dare you! Next time I'll put things right and lay down my elegant steps! Let's go! Escape! I love the way that everyone runs away in this fucking game. We bring you a breaking news story. The cargo ship SS Libra was found in the desert north of Fennec. Its baffling disappearance is believed to have been caused by Cypher. It is unclear as to how the ship was transported to the desert, however. Cypher's motives for taking the ship are also unknown. Unfortunately, there was no sign of the numerous Pokemon aboard the ship. Concern is rising for their safety and welfare. I'm never going to be able to get that uh, Bonsley back, by the way. This dude is fucking jacked. Ginormous. Oh my god. If you're going to stay on the road, you should stock up on supplies here. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, I'm also really happy for your business. Safari balls for free. That's dope. That's dope. Uh, oh, oh, we've never had proteins before. Okay, that's fire. It's, it's full price, unfortunately. But that's sick. Uh, and then a new TM. Okay, TM30. And then I th think I have choice bands, but whatever. You never know. So what's this TM? Flatter. Fuck. Man. 
those those first like three markets were phenomenal and then ever since then it's just been the most mediocre and repetitive stuff but whatever Am I glad to see you? I was terrified that Cypher would find me and dr 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 drag me away if I stayed much longer. You see, I f f fled from Cypher's key lair way in the north. Oh? You know that place? Wow, you people at ONB assure that information quickly. The key lair is a factory. It was made to mass produce shadow Pokemon. When I discovered that, I was horrified. I came to hate my job, so I, es es I escaped. Uh, when I fled, I managed to spirit away just one Shadow Pokemon. But even then, there were already many Shadow Pokemon. I'm sure that they've produced even more since then. Whoa. Oh, while I was with Cypher, there were rumors about a boy who snag shag Shadow Pokemon and purifies them. Might that person be you? If so, I, I, I have a giant favor to ask of you. Would you purify the sh Shadow Togepi that I fled with? We get a gift Pokemon? That's amazing. I wish I could sh say that, but your party is f full. I'm so sorry, but please make room in your party. Okay, I'm excited to see that. How the fuck did you jog through the desert? My... Okay. All right. What the hell is Eklo Canyon? I've heard that they broke up long ago, but I got this feeling that there were people out there. Maybe it was the ghost of Team Snagon? Crazy shit. Who are you? Little guy, I've seen your face somewhere before. Uh, I guess I'm famous. I bet your Pokemon are outstanding too, little guy. If the opportunity arises, I'd like to have a battle with you. I doubt you could beat me. Who are you? I really need to play Coliseum. What? We've located Team Snagum. They're, they've been operating out of their old hideout north of the outskirt stand. We don't know the size of the group or much about the leader, Gonzap. Be careful if you're going there. All right. By the way, are you s s searching for Team Snagum's hideout? They just told me that they located it. So... <sighs> Whatever. Turn your appearance to a disappearance. I fuck with nothing but gangsters. Nothing but hustling niggas.